Hey guys, you want to come in? Got another battle replay for you here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are on the settlement of Alexandria. I'm sure everybody recognizes this settlement, but more than likely from this side of the attacking viewpoint. Usually attackers come in over here, but every once in a while you have people that are trying to attack on the other side. And we have Kev. Already have some Bactrian Royal Cavalry. It's like three units of them. Wow, three units of Bactrian Royal Cavalry. We actually have Cav out over here, too. Oh my god. What is this? Horse skirmishers. Pontus going in with some cavalry right in the beginning here. Oh, we got heavy horse coming over. Yep, that's a heavy horse. All right, so we're going to slow this down. I don't know what that Bactrian Cav is going to Oh, sorry, what the Pontus Cav is going to do. So we're going to look over armies here really, really, really quickly. So we do have a Rome first being commanded by Iosis, I think. And he has four units of the Associate uh, Hestati, three regular Hestati, three Principes, two Praetorian Guard, two Evil Kati Cohort, one Legionnaire Cohort, General is a Legatus, three Syrian Archers, and a Levy. Then attacking with him, we have Boei being commanded by Zimmon, and he has seven units of the Sword Followers, four Celtic Warriors, one Levy Freeman, General is an Oswan, four units of Celtic Bowmen, two Heavy Horse, and a Giant Ballista. And then over here, kind of attacking by themselves, we have Athens being commanded by Spoon Cavalry, and he has seven Thorax Swordsmen, five Thorax Hoplites, one of those being the General, one Thorio Spear, three Cretan Archers, one regular Archer, and a Scorpion. Inside the settlement, we will take a look first here at Kush, being commanded by Mo, and he has seven Kushite Slave Infantry, three Disciples of Epidemac, two Shoto Warriors, one the regular Slave Infantry. General's a Kushite Royal Archer, or Royal Kushite Archer, I'm not a fan, of that archer of the that general choice uh three units of nubian bowmen one kushite rural guard cavalry that's actually the cavalry the general i prefer to take when i play as kush um oh what is going on he's just still harassing just still harassing there the other cab moved over there okay i just want to make sure uh then we have a bactria being commanded by bubini and he has seven thorax swordsmen two hillmen two eastern spearmen general is a bactrian rural cavalry Three Syrian archers, one Bactrian Peltast, one noble horse, and a scorpion. And then we have Pontus being commanded by Vimtrix. And he has six Thoreos spears and two bronze shield pikemen. That's all his infantry. That's it. No Pontic swordsman. I'm shocked. Uh, three Pontic royal cavalry, two horse archers, or two horse skirmishers, and two eastern archers and there we go all right so hold on a second course skirmish is actually uh getting into melee here a little bit charging into some levy framing interesting but all right that is go oh i think that calf's done though yeah but I maybe that was a trap maybe that was a trap by pontus luring that heavy horse in here Lure i mean he's got a bunch of sword followers chasing as well don't chase cavalry just don't don't do it don't do it it, it just won't work out the way you want it to work out all right, Pat the Cav over here. Looks like they're lining up. So we're going to break here, guys, and get ready for the beginning of the battle replay. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. Feel free to hit the like button, drop some comments, share the video. Of course, subscribe to the channel. Let's get it going. Look, floating trees. All right, so Psyche, uh, Pontus did not end up charging. He pulled back. He, he is retreating away. The horse skirmishers here still unleashing, though. Oh, that's the other unit right there. Two kills total for the other unit. Wow, that is not a good amount of kills. Horse garbage. Oh, God. Take it, some Pela. Take it, more Pela. Oh, oh, my God. That guy got launched. He got hit in the foot. He got hit in the foot and launched off of his horse. I probably died from the fall. I'm going to assume he died from the fall. But again, Pontus just playing tricks, playing games, playing games. With this Roman faction, unfortunately, Rome just taking a lot of losses. Where's that heavy horse? Did they run away? They did. They lost nine total. That's not that bad. Horse skirmishers again, though. Just get taken out. They're done. Dunsky, done for, done for. No, not yet. Still nine of them left. So they have one more kill than they... Oh, sorry. There's four of them left. They just took a mother big hit. Horse skirmishers just running all over the place. And there they go. Done. Two men survive. I don't think they're going to survive, though. Yeah, they're probably... Oh, no, just going to ride right past some Prince of Pace? Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, they're both dead. They're both dead. All right, good job, Prince of Pace. Good job throwing those long-range peeler. 
All right, so Pontus here, 43 kills with his artillery. Uh, oh, wait a second. Oh, he sent it over here. He didn't charge in yet. He's looking for an opportunity, though. He is really trying to get in that gap. And he's going to get in. Oh, my God. No way. Storax Swordsman right there. Throw javelins. You've got to throw jet. Oh, he stopped. Oh, that is unfortunate. I mean, he's through. Technically, he's through. Yeah, he's through. So he's going to get into the Cretan archers here. He could easily just keep on going. Could just bounce off and keep going this way if you wanted to. There's still a lot of calf right there. Keep going, bud. He's got 30 kills down to 58. Just keep going. Athens tried. He tried, but one unit of this Pontic Real Cavalry was able to get in there doing some damage. This is hectic. This is chaos. Chaos in the Athenian lines. Oh, he got into the Scorpion now, too. That's not good. That is not good. 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 All right. And of course, as cool stuff is happening, the battle replay's got to crash. But I'm pretty much back to where I was. Pontic Royal Cavalry, 171 kills. What is going on? There's so much javelins around here. I'm not sure why they're not turning around to get rid of this cav. There's still 25 of them in here. And they are just absolutely slaughtering. Didn't he have a Thoreos? Oh, it's all the way over there. What is going on here? Rome crossing paths with Athens. Fighting with each other to get over there, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we have some tortoises over here. Knock down some walls. There you go. We got a single unit of Hastati coming on through. Thoreos spears of Pontus standing there waiting. Not going to do anything probably just yet. Uh, we have some sword followers that made their way onto the wall. Taking out a unit of Eastern Spearmen there for Bactria. I'm sure that the Bactrian player does not care about that Eastern Spearmen at all. So this Pontic Cav finally taken out. 199 kills. I think he took out the Scorpion crew. He did. Scorpion crew is dead. There's two remaining in the unit. They're done. What is his archers? Down to 82, 59, 78. Oof. Other unit there with 96. So his weakest archers have the largest unit. Right? 78, 59, 82. Yeah, his weakest archer unit has the most left in it. That sucks. That sucks, but he is on the move now. I mean, Pontus is coming around again with the rest of his cav. His other two units of Pontic Royal Cavalry. Looks like they are going to charge the general. Who's not in Hoplite Wall, so this charge may... No, he pulled it up. Okay, I thought for sure he was going to charge in there. Is he going to come... Is he going to come in here and charge... I... Is he going to rear charge the general? Yep, he's going to rear charge the general. Oh, my God. Is the other unit coming? Yep, here it comes. I saw the red flag. I mean, I saw the red line. Mauling of the Athenian general. Absolute mauling. This Thorax unit has joined the fight. Thorax swords would have joined the fight. General losing decisively. Just got absolutely trampled by both of these units of Pontic Royal Cavalry. That is very, very rough. All right, so inside the settlement, we have some more Celtic warriors climbing up onto the walls. They have breaches. Uh, this is Stani went in by themselves. Dead. Yep, yeah, dead. Dead, dead, dead. Gone. 18 kills total. Okay. Uh, Bowie has stopped his attack over here. There's two units of sword followers on this side. He did have actually a unit up on the wall here. Is that Roman? Oh, that's a Roman unit. All right. I didn't even see that happen. So there was a Roman unit that was over here that got completely slaughtered, apparently. All right. Interesting. 115 kills Nubian Bowman. My God. All right. Here we go. Some more sword followers. Let's get back over here. Did the general live? He did. He's down to 90 men. And looks like only one Pontic Royal Cavalry is left. Okay, so that kind of paid off. Yeah, there goes the other one. He's only got one left in the unit. How many kills did it get? 41. So not the greatest amount of kills on that second one. But he's going against yet another general. Oh my god. What is with the attackers and their generals? Wow, this guy just got a chevron. 
He's got 34, eight, 38 kills now. Is Pontecorillo Cav? I mean, is he going to try and chase? He might try and chase, but I don't think he's going to get this general. Losing decisively, losing decisively. I mean, Bowie, I could just... Never mind. I think Athens is going to help. Yeah. Athens looks like he's going to help finish that unit off. All right. So the Bactrian Cav, where did they go? They stayed inside. The Kush Cav stayed inside as well. But now we have bombardment starting. The Bowie Eye Artillera firing away. 88 kills so far. we got some Celtic Bowmen have moved forward. They're starting to fire away. Taking out a Thoreos. Oh my god. Looks like this unit didn't even move. Completely slaughtered. Down to 35 men. 34 men. What is keeping his attention outside? I, I, maybe it was the rest of that Ponte Cav? I mean, that one only got seven. So his other two units did nothing. Oh, sorry, 38. His other two units, compared to the first one, they did nothing. All right. Pontus. Did they stop firing at them? Oh, they did. Okay, well, that was nice at least. Rome now making his way inside the settlement. Sochi Estadi, Sochi Estadi, and Sochi Estadi. Here we go. We've got the Reos from Pontus going to charge up to meet the Roman line. And of course, the first thing we saw happen was a Pontus Thoreo spear just get absolutely lambasted across the face by a Gladius. That was awesome. That was awesome to see. The first thing that happened, whack, just cut his face off. Did you hear that guy just say that is a weapon, not a pitchfork? Interesting. All right, here we go. Heavy horse making their way over here towards the breach. Not sure exactly what we're doing. I mean, there's 71 of them. Celtic warriors coming in here now as well. Stacking up. Oh, is he? Ah, uh, that's not really a gap. I mean, they could try. Oh, no, it is. Kind of. They got stopped, though. Yeah, I was, was kind of waiting for this to rails because of how far spread out they are. The Celtic Warriors are going to be able to make it through. They are just going to walk right on through that breach. Not even care at all. Oh, that's a sword follower. I thought that was a, I thought that was a Celtic Warrior. Here comes the Celtic Warriors now. Celtic Warriors making their way through. Eastern Archers not looking good. Celtic Warriors over here as well. Oh, my God. This defense is falling apart very, very quickly. The attackers simply walked through the front line. Simply walked right past them. Thorax Swordsman, come this way. Yeah, get into that. Get into that Kushite Slave Infantry. Keep the gate neutralized. We got another unit of Slave Infantry on top of the wall there. Didn't even see that one. I think that might have been a second unit of Slave Infantry. We have Cav now made their way in here. Here we go. Heavy Horse getting inside. 47 kills. Got some Thorax closing the distance. This more Kushite Slave Infantry closing the distance. Um... Batrius Cav has gone all the way to the opposite side of the battlefield again, or opposite side of the settlement again. What's Bowie I doing? Not too much, just keeping these units over here. I mean, you could try and still pressure here if you wanted to, but over here, this honestly, this looks okay. The, the, the attackers need to get more inside, though. They really need to get more infantry inside. They have two units of Cav inside. The heavy horse can do damage. They can definitely do work. But they need more infantry inside. Like, Athens needs to get more of his thorax swordsmen in there. Rome, definitely start getting some of his bigger boys in there. The Principes can easily get inside and start doing some damage. Handling some business. Heavy horse coming across over here. I mean, that's another viable target for them to charge at. There's two units of heavy horse. They're going to blast right into that Kushite slave infantry. Oh, my God. A little bit of damage. A little bit of damage to them, but... The end of the day, the heavy horse are going to run them over. Run them over. Are they just going right through him? Oh, they are. Oh, I think he's trying to get that scorpion. I think he's trying to get over there to get that scorpion. Back to you. There you go. Nice javelin volley. Not enough. He killed 11, though. Oh, we got disciples. That is a disciple. Running the scorpion crew away. Disciples of Epidemac going to get into this heavy horse. There's 25 of them, and they just got caught. And here comes the Kushite Royal Guard. Okay, so that cave is done. 
That Bowie Eye Cavalry has done 77 and 37, now 38. But the attackers, uh, guys, gaps, 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 gaps. What are we doing over here? Oh, back, wait a second. Pontus came outside? Why would a Thoreo spear come outside by themselves? At, um, okay, I think that was, might not have been the greatest idea. All right, the attackers have won over on this side. They can easily start moving up over here, capture up this gate, come into the back here, crush both of those Thoreos. Artillery's still bombing away, hitting some of those bronze shield pikemen now. Okay, let's see what artillery's got. Let's see, he's at 120. 120. We still have a unit of levies outside. Rome now starting to make his... Yeah, go. Just get inside. Get inside. I mean, pop, uh, Bactria is going to have to go that way. Looks like that's where he's heading. Yeah, he is heading that way. Artillery strikes still plaguing the settlement. Oh, my God. He just caught one of the scorpions on fire. That was actually a really good play shot. I mean, lucky. Lucky. Lucky play shot. But it was a play shot nonetheless. Uh, Battery Noble Horse have come back. Where's the general again? Oh, he's back in the center here. Oh, look at all this stacked up right there. I mean, it's a good thing that the attackers don't have any artillery over here that could reach this. That would be bad. But, I mean, I know I know they don't they don't have the range for it. I was just making mention of it. Uh, artillery here, 131 kills. Just took out this tower here. I think he hit some more of the bronze shield pikemen there. Bactrian noble horse charging into a Athenian thorax swordsman. Here comes disciples of Epidemac as well, going to double up behind that cavalry. They're gonna slice this thorax apart. Absolutely eviscerate this thorax swordsman. They're done. You do not want to mess with disciples. Unless you have ranged. That's really the only thing you can do. They are nasty. Nasty. They've lost three men, 71 kills. Comes the Royal Kushite Guard. He's coming around. Looks like maybe he's going to try and get outside. Thorax for Athens. Going to shield wall up. But unfortunately, by shield wall... Yep, they moved to one side. So this Cav could come around this way if he wanted to. But we do have the Thorax Hoplite General right there. Oh, Noble Horse, he going for a shot? No, I thought he was going to. I thought he was going to get in there. Artillery still going? What? I thought he was out. Oh, getting some more Syrian archers there. Oof. That is a rough go. Rough, rough go. Noble Horse. Um, yeah, Noble Horse charging into Thorax Swordsman there of Athens. Oh, the Kushkev got outside. Uh, no, he's not taking any damage. I mean, he's taking a couple losses, but nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Kush Cav outside into all of these archers of Athens. And now the disciples are going to come out. They're going to carve up this general, probably. Probably going to come out and carve this general up. I mean, he's already losing. Morale's not well for this Thorax Hoplite general. Disciples in the general now. Oh, they're... Got him in the rear charge. Oh, that's not good. That is really not good. Here comes the back turn Royal Cav General. He's coming outside. Noble, I'm sorry, not Noble. The uh, Royal Kushite Guard or Kushite Royal Guard going to be coming back inside here. I mean, he's got it. We'll see how this plays out. He might have an opportunity to get into these archers. Maybe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep. He clicked to go inside. And I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Briefly, his blue arrow went this way instead of coming through here. That's rough. That is rough. Down to 66, still 122 kills. And he didn't lose. Yeah, seven. This unit here with two. Principes should probably be inside. In all seriousness, these Principes should be inside. Now, let's get back over on this side. What is that? Oh, it's a Bactrian Homan. Okay. We got the back. Oh, Bronchial Pikeman. General over here. It's going to set up on this road, but that could be bad. Oh, Bowie, yeah, I stopped. Okay, he did stop. I was going to say, that could have been that could have been terrible. Okay, so over on this side, uh, maybe keep pressing this way. And get these levees in here. Let the levees just fire face-to-face -face with those bronze shield pikemen. But he is getting the sword followers here to do that. 115 kills, 51 kills. Now, unfortunately, they are getting shot on the non-shielded side. 
So you have a Syrian archer here just firing right across the top of the buildings there. He's getting shots into this unit right there. See if he's got another volley coming in. Yes, he did. Oh, he only killed three on that one. That's a little bit rough. Another volley coming in, though, down to 138. He's going to shift out some more units. Maybe try and get this sword follower to throw some javelins. I mean, these sword followers are doing pretty solid so far. 148, this unit here with 115. He's moving forward, going to try and throw some javelins into that Bronze Shield Pikeman. Do they have javelins? Hopefully they do. Hopefully he didn't just move him over here for nothing. Oh, well, maybe they don't. Maybe they're just standing here. I don't know, but we do have a little bit more of a push. Okay, so here comes the attackers. Rome and Bowie Eye pressing in over on this side. Oh, we have another Roman unit here. What is this? Evocati cohort coming this way. But we got disciples. Yeah, there's two disciples right there. That Evocati would be dead if he dared to go over there. All right, let's see how we're doing over on this back out on the front. Bronze Shield Pikeman. That might not be a good place for them to be. Oh, wait a second. We got a noble horse in there. 74 kills. Looks like he's just charging around, just pinballing around, getting some kills. I don't know if maybe he hit some of these auxiliary Syrians. He might have. But Bowie still has all of his ranged units. Looks like this unit's going to be saved. 59 left in the unit. I'm sorry, 59 kills, 30 left in the unit. That back to your noble horse finally getting taken care of. Where is the Kush cavalry? Is he dead? Or did he run him back? I think that Kush Cav is dead. Yeah, it looks like he is. I don't see his banner any longer. What do we have here? Praetorian Guard. Principe, Principe, Principe. Where's the other Praetorian Guard? Is that it over here? No, nope, Legionnaire Cohort. Ibukade, Ibukade. Oh, there it is. Yep, the other Praetorian walking in with the levies. Uh, Bowie Artillery ending with 145 kills. Great job there. And this front is pretty much done. One final unit of Thorax Swords in there for Bactria. Done. The attackers have claimed the front part of this settlement. And they could easily... They could cut this general off. They really could cut this general off. Bactria and Hillman there. Yeah, it's evil kind of cold. You're not going to be able to do much. They could cut this general off. He can't go anywhere. I'm kind of surprised that they haven't done it yet. Oh, wait, here comes the Evocate. Evocate is going to come around this way. I mean, Bowie, I get involved. Oh, he's trying to capture the gate. Okay, never mind. But yeah, that uh, Pontus General looks like he is caught. He's trying to run, but he's done. Yeah, he's going to be Evocate and a Legionnaire cohort, and now he's about to be attacked front and rear. He's done. He is done. That is going to be the end of his day for sure. For sure. Yeah, losing decisively. Okay, so he's done. So the defender's now back. Basically at the town. So wait a second. Hold on a second. We got another disciple that came out. 159 kills. They've lost seven men. Closing in on 200 kills. Lost seven men. Crazy. I'm telling you guys, disciples of a Peterback are nasty. Absolutely nasty. Thorax Hoplite. 100 kills for them, though. Thorax Hoplite's not too bad. This Thorax Swordsman losing here as well. Oh, Javelins. Javelins. No Javelins. Disciples charging in, continuing on the fight. Oh my god, these disciples are murderous. The murderous view of a disciple of Pete Mac. 264. Oh, now they're in trouble, though. Did they just break that whole... There's still 79 Thorax Swordsmen over there they broke. Now, this could be a problem for the disciples. They're still chugging away, though. 301 kills. This could be a little bit of a problem for them, though. There are a couple of Roman units over here. Oh, the other one fell back. 
Oh, what happened? All right, so Bowie is going to protect this way. Yeah, that Roman unit just got murdered. Completely murdered. Murdered? Murdered. Murdered. 342 kills, 346 kills. I mean, the attackers have the tower, so this disciple could be in some trouble. Sword followers coming up. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I mean, they can't see it, but the Batra and Royal Cav Jenna is right there. He could maybe... Still being babysat, though. There is still another unit of Thorax right there babysitting them. I'm uh, not Thorax. Uh, sword followers babysitting these three archers. 45, 45, and 71. Syrians here. 23. Levy's zero. This Syrian with 32. This one back again. Oh, nope. Just broke. It broke. It broke. It's done. All right. We got the Thoreos for Athens. Somehow still surviving. I'm not sure exactly how. Shotel Warrior is going to carve them up for sure. Uh, back over here, we have some javelins coming. Back to you, throw in his javelins. Okay. Trading back and forth, Thorax Swordsman. Trading with some Evil Kate Cohort. Is that Bactrian and Peltas right there? It is. 116 kills for them. That's a solid, solid amount of kills for the Bactrian and Peltas. Well done there. Really good job. This disciple still going. 433 kills. They finally... No, they're not done. There's still 35 left in the unit. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, there he goes. Now he's dead. He finally died. Did the rest of the unit break? Yeah. Yeah, they're there. 448 kills, though. Very, very solid job. And he's still got two more back here, guys. We still got two over here that haven't done anything yet. A side of move. They haven't done anything. Here we go. Syrians. Batria. Mercenary Syrians. Mercenary Syrians. We got the Kushite archers now. Look like they're starting to fire here too. 77, 18, and 117. I mean, they should probably be trading back and forth with these Syrians of Rome. Try and kill them off. But the Kush archers have actually fallen back. There was three Kushite archers right there. They probably could have taken out these Syrians. All right, back in the town center again. Sword followers charging it out to Shotel Warriors. That is not going to go well for the sword followers for sure. Oh, it looks like a second unit has joined the fight. Is that Thorax? Yes, it is. Battery and Thorax swordsmen have joined the fight here. Kush archers coming around over here. Are we looking for shots, maybe? I mean, they could shot. They they could kill the levies. Not sure where they're going. Not sure exactly where these two units are going. This one standing here. Not really doing anything yet either. Oh, disciples! Saw the I saw the buffs get hit. They're gonna charge it to sword followers. That sword follower is gonna have a bad day. Have a bad day. Now the Syrians, the Roman Syrians want to be firing at this. They want to kill that as fast as possible. Because it's already almost at 50 kills. It's lost one man. Oh, he got in. Bactria and Royal Calf. Yep. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. He blasted through that sword follower. And now he's getting into the Celtic Bowman here of Bowie that is gigantic. Solid play right there. He's going to keep coming around. Is he going to get into those Syrians? I think he is. He is. Is he? He's waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting. Now he's charging. Now that Oswar General's right there. I don't know. 30 kills. This one here. Wow, they got blasted. 36 kills. There's a lot of infantry right here, though. There's an Oswar. There's a Principe right there. Cav is going to make it back out, though. He's going to get out. Wow. Very, very well done. 143. It was like a quick 143 kills right there for the general. He's like, all right, I'm just going to go for a stroll. I'll be right back. Hold my wallet. I'll be right back. All right, let's get back over on this side. This is looking a little bad for the defenders. The Storax Swordsman starting to get a little cut down, a little weakened. Got an Evil Cutty cohort in there. We have another Evil Cutty now going to join the fight. Bactrian Peltast have joined the melee. 118 kills for them. Uh, Levies 
I don't really think the levees need to be throwing right now, but they are throwing their javelins. It's probably not needed. That might have actually counted as a lot of kills against that initial Evocati cohort unit. But this should get broken down. We have another unit of Thorax coming around over here. If the levees want to shoot at anything, that should be what they're throwing at. I mean, you, you could... You, I'm just saying, you could climb up on the wall there and throw some javelins down. You could get over here. Actually, could be over here neutralizing this tower. Just use the gate. Or use the tower. Use the uh, ladders, I mean. The staircase. Ladders. Use the, the stairs. Disciples still there. Yep, 117. Ooh, this one's already down 16 men. Interesting. Where's the other one? Still sitting back there? Yep, just hanging. Just hanging around. Not needed to do anything just yet. Sea of bodies. Sea of blood. Followers pulling out. Another unit of sword followers coming in. This one's really beaten up, though. Disciples pulling out of the fight. I don't know if they should be doing that. Yeah, stay in the fight because you got nothing left over here. This is all archers. Balance of power is not looking good for the for the defenders. If I'm completely honest, the balance of power is not looking good for the defenders at this moment. Back to Inja. Oh, he came around over here again. Look, I mean, he might have tried to get out. But he's not going to be able to break through those those uh, principes. He's not going to be able to do it. He doesn't really have anywhere else to go. I mean, he could. He could, if he wanted to. It would take a long time. Come all the way back through here and up this way. He could, but I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's worth it. I mean, he's, he's doing a successful job. I don't know if this is his plan or not, but he's two, he's pulling two Principes away. Oh, we still have the Scorpion right there. Is it firing? 95 kills. He's turning around. Yep, they're firing. Okay. Okay. Bactria, Bactria, uh-oh. So we got this unit that's going to line up here to block against that calf. Oh, they're on the move. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Dude, back to real calves so nasty. They really are. They really are gross. Just got over 17 more kills. 18 more kills on that one charge. And this Roman general, he's still got 28 left in the unit. Come this way. Come around. Come around, but this is... Oh, wait a second. This is starting to look dire situation now for the for the defenders. We got sword followers in the town center. Praetorian guard in the town center. Still have disciples of a Epidemac here, though. 256 kills. Where's his other disciple at? Oh, it's up here fighting. 235 with that unit taking on some sword followers. Celtic warriors. All right, there you go. Royal Kushad Archer here. General, 43 kills for him. So Thorax is going to make their way back over towards the center. This is not looking good. What is going on right here with this Roman? They just kind of like walked through 55 disciples of Epidemac. That's kind of crazy. But here we go. Thorax swords. We're going to come on over here. Thorax, swordsman, Praetorian guard. We got the disciples out over here running around. Yeah, he's getting into archers again. Oh, my God. 312 kills. Here comes the Osworn General. He's coming in. Celtic Bowman getting a volley off. We got, still have the Syrians back there. What's the Bactrian General doing? Uh-oh. Where is the Bactrian General? Oh, no. Is he dead? Oh, the Bactrian General died. Oh, no, he didn't. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Okay. Whoo, I was going to say. I hope he didn't die. That's like the lifeline of the of the defenders right now. Not counting the disciples, but they're actually coming around. Oh my God! Are the defenders gonna? They are. They're gonna pull this off. You've got to be kidding me! Bactrian general getting into these Syrian archers. Ninety-two kills, forty kills, forty kills with a Syrian. Oh boy! But oh, wait a second. The defenders leaving the town center. 
They only have the one unit of thorax left. Ooh, nice shooting there. Newbie and Bowman, good shots into the back of that O Sworn General. That is really solid shooting right there. But we still also have these two units of Prince of Pace here. And oh no, Bactria. Bactria is breaking down. Bactria in general is still alive. 20 left in the unit. Bactria's whole army just broke over here. We're down to some Disciples of Epidemac and the Royal Kushite Archer General and the Bactrian Royal Cavalry General for the defenders. That's all they have left. Oh my God. Disciples 369. This unit here with 384. Oh my God. What an absolute turn of event. That's crazy. I thought for a second that the defenders, I mean, they started coming around the corner. I thought for sure they were just going to pull this off. This is really close. This is still really, really, really close. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Celtic Warriors. Is he just going to bypass him? Yeah, okay. He's just going to go right past him. I think maybe he's going to try and come around and get this general. Oh, no, no. He rear-charged the Celtics. But he didn't really rear-charge him. He did charge into the Celtics, though. 299. Come on, get 300. Come on. Come on. There it is. 300 kills. Can you get over 300 kills? There you go. 303. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so the Kush general has actually wormed his way out of the town center. We got a minute, 10 seconds left, guys. One minute and 10 seconds. 17 Bactrian Royal Cavalry left in this unit. Ooh, Prince of Pace coming over here, though. Front line for the defenders starting to shatter down. Starting to break apart. Kush General getting some good shots. Is he going to come rear charge? He's trying. I think he's trying to. No, he's going to get it. He is going to get it. Okay, nice charge there. Really, really, really solid charge there. Really, really, really solid charge. That was huge. That was gigantic. Very, very nicely done. 326. Roman General shattering. Down to seven left. To Oswan General. Oh my God. Disciples 450. That's going to be it. No way. Yo. All right. Defenders. That was that was a really, really solid battle right there. The attackers are breaking apart. Wow. That's humongous. Humongous. Come from behind. I mean, kind of come from behind. I, I was back and forth, man. I was. I really didn't know who was going to be able to win that at the end. Really didn't know who was going to win that. Good kills. Really good kills. All right, let's take a look. Bubini here was the one that sent the replay over. Thanks, bud, for sending it in. 2,306 kills for him. Uh, 339 with his General Scorpion, 225. His Peltast, 129. Archers did good, 112, 106, and 222. That's solid. Uh, Hillman didn't do anything. Spearman didn't do anything. Thorax, 149, 142, 154, 192, 108, 114, 137. Can't ask for more. I mean, you could ask for like 200 kills, but I mean, they still did good. Over 100 kills. Majority of them near 150. Very good. Uh, then we have Vimitrix here playing as Pontus. 822 kills. It was a lot of Thoreos. A lot of Thoreos. I don't think this comp paid off. I mean, you got one Pontic Royal Cavalry there with 199. Everything else did not really per, uh, just pay. There's Eastern Archers, 116, 100. Even the horse skirmishers didn't really do very much. Then we have Mo coming in with Kush, 2,964 kills, almost 3,000 kills. Great job. Hey, Scorpion, 98 kills. Kushite Rural Guard, 222. Nubian Bowman, 118, 199, 162. Great job. Disciples, though. Wow. 473, 90, 449. Great job. Three units. Three units of them. That's crazy. Uh, Shoto Warriors, not Shoto Warriors, his uh, Kushite Slave Infantry, fortunately didn't get very much. His one Shoto Warrior there, 257. Getting it on to the attackers, we have Iosifs, I think. Iosifs, I don't know. 1813 with Rome, 59 with the General. His archers, unfortunately, didn't get very much. 90 kills for one, 94 kills for one of them. Uh, his Evocati, 111, 118. Hastati, top was a 70. His Legionnaire Cohort, 119. Praetorian Guard, 159, 116. Prince of Pays, 237, 128, 193. Great job with the Prince of Pays. And his associate Saudi got destroyed. Then we have Zimmin coming in with Bowie Eye, 2,531 kills. So he actually had the second most kills in the game. 160 with the General, 145 with that giant ballista. Great job. Uh, Heavy Horse, unfortunately. I mean, they got the kills they needed to get, but probably wish that they had gotten a little bit more. Heavy Horse is really good. Uh, Celtic Bowman did not do very well. 
Did not do very well. 71 kills was the top there. Uh, Celtic Warriors, 143, 171, 237. Great job. Sword Followers, 392, 130, 127, 228, 195, and 146. Ooh, 65. Mmm. And then we have Spoon Cavalry coming in with Athens, who is having the problem in the beginning there with the Pontus Cavalry. But looks like he turned it around. 17, 17 kills total. 59 with his general. Archers, unfortunately, they just got murdered. Uh, his Thorax Hoplites, 101, 114, 101. Thorax Swords, 128, 218, 295, 115, 119, uh, 126. His Thoreos, actually, 108 kills. Not bad. But all right, guys, there you go. End of today's battle replay. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, feel free, hit the like button, drop some comments, share the video, and, of course, subscribe to the channel. But that's going to be the end for me, so have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one.